Today, I'm going to use Adobe Spark to show you how to create a custom leather stamp. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is click on the plus symbol here and select solid color down on the bottom right hand side. I'm going to use white and hit next. Uh, this is just selecting the dimensions. I like to work with a square, so I'm going to hit done. And we're here in the Adobe Spark uh, building environment. I'm going to double tap to edit this text. And I'm going to say custom. I'm going to change the color to black. And you can see you can drag it along uh, centering lines. I'm going to hit done and add another line of text. Leatherworking. Now, of course, you can add whatever it is you're wanting to uh, have your <laughs> stamp say. You can hit this little uh, icon down here to switch back and forth if it's white and black. And for now, I'm going to leave these whatever font this is. So now I want to create a little bit of a, uh, a border around it. And Adobe Spark makes that easy. Click Add, and you're going to add an icon. So it's going to pop up with a random word every time uh, you open it. And I'm going to type in leather. So since we're doing a leather working stamp, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these uh, hides that they've got here. And I kind of like this one down here. When you're thinking about making a stamp, do remember you want the line thickness to be thick enough that it's going to show up well when you imprint it on the leather, and try not to make too many fine details that are going to uh, be lost when you're actually using it. So I'm going to select color, and turn it black, and scale it up to the size of it. All right. So now we can start playing with our fonts a little bit, and the location of our text. So I'm going to go to font, and there's a ton of different fonts here to choose from. The whole Adobe library, if you're already using that. I'm going to grab this leather working cursive here. There we go. And so I'm just tapping on the text and selecting my font. Grabbing these little corners here sizing it around, and then I'm using that line snap to the center to get my, uh, my stuff lining up. All right, so we've got a text and a little bit of a symbol, but let's go ahead and add something to it. So I'm going to click Done and then Add, and I'm going to add another icon. We're on the leather theme, so I'm going to Scroll through here, and I'm going to pick this set of punches. It's kind of cool that they had that on here. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the middle, and adjust the color to black. Tap back off of it to deselect, and well, now we've got ourselves a custom leather working stamp. So. This is, of course, the most basic of ways to create something, and I'm sure you could, uh, you could find a, a more complicated way to do it, but gosh, this sure is easy on your smartphone. And I do have a way to create a much more custom stamp using this same method along with Adobe Draw, and I'll go ahead and post a part two if everybody enjoys this one. So if you liked this video, uh, hit that like button to encourage me to make another one, and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I post a new one. If you guys had any questions about this video, uh, don't uh, hesitate to ask me down there in the comment section. And, as always, stay creative.